How is it on comfort? Go ahead and bring the strap up once. And you've had this thing for quite a while now, oh, right? Oh yeah, yeah. I've been using this same bag for you know well over a year now. Uh, real nice and comfortable. You know, you've got the built-in uh, breathable mesh on the backside, and underneath that, you got uh, pretty thick uh, actual padding itself. So, um, you know, I've carried more than what's on the table here uh, inside the bag itself, and uh, it's always comfortable no matter what. And having the, the additional side strap on here. I can also help secure it in place on my body even more by wrapping this around my front and then clipping that in place. So instead of just a single loop, now it's um, held in place even more by the, the additional strap. Um, the back side of the, the back pocket also has a breathable, breathable mesh uh, and additional uh, padding in there as well. So as it's rubbing on your back, it's padded and not just bouncing off your back. How much weight would you say you carry in there? On any given day, on roughly? On any given day, you're probably looking at, I don't know, seven, eight, ten pounds, depending on what all I load up in here. Uh, additionally, beyond what's on the table already. So that's a fair amount of weight, and it oh, helps. Yeah. It, 511 keeps the fatigue down. Oh, yeah, sure does. What's going on, guys? Tactaholics here. Today, we're going to go over the Covert Zap 6 or the Zone Assault Pack. So, this is my everyday carry bag, and we're going to go over some of the stuff that. Uh, is inside here that uh, I carry with me on a day-to-day -day basis and some of the stuff I'll explain why I actually have that with me so let's start breaking into the bag already so very front pocket up here I got two additional 19 round mags for my Springfield XDM 3.89 millimeter I've got my Crimson Trace knife set uh, it has the knives, uh, it's got some screwdrivers and stuff on there just in case I need to uh, fix any of my holsters or uh, cut anything up real quick. I've got some pens and stuff like that in here. I've also got some hand sanitizer uh, with the camouflage pattern in case I gotta, you know, hide in the woods and clean my hands someplace. We'll go ahead and we'll open up the main bag. Main pouch opens up pretty far, that way you can get all sorts of different stuff in here. So I've got my alien gear inside the waistband holster for my 3.8 in case I want to go from uh, carrying my uh, gun inside my bag to actually going inside the waistband and not having to worry about my bag at the time. I've also got my computer, some headphones, and the charger in there. That way in case I need to do any uh, work for Tactaholics or anything wherever I'm at, uh, I've always got the stuff with me so I can get that taken care of. We'll open up the uh, two compartments inside. I've got my tourniquet. So what do you carry for a tourniquet? Why do you go with that one? Well, as far as a tourniquet that I got, this is a cat uh, tourniquet. Uh, so it's one of the easier, one that's, uh, easier ones that's out there to use. Uh, the reason I carried this one in particular is, um, this is the same one that I carried when I was in Iraq. Uh, it's easy to use, it's small, um, and no matter where you're at, you can use it on any portion of the body that you'd need to. I got a CPR mask. I got a couple 4x4 bandages. I've got an InstaCool uh, cold compress. Uh, so, just in case my kids are with me, they fall down, they hurt themselves, somebody else hurts themselves, whatever, I got a quick cold compress with me. I noticed real quick that there's no dirt in here. So, am I to understand that you don't advocate rubbing dirt on it as a, a solution to minor injuries with your kids? Oh no, you can find dirt all over the place, so you just pick that dirt up and rub it in there no matter what. So that doesn't go in the bag, you don't take up no, space with that, no. you just use what's your environment? Exactly. <laughs> you know, whatever's in the environment, you gotta go with. If you take a look inside the bag here, there's one additional pocket down below that'll help keep anything strapped in place that you need to. Uh, right now I don't have anything else that's in uh, the main compartment though. At the very top of the bag up here, you've got the lined sunglasses pocket. Since I'm inside right now, I don't have my sunglasses or anything in here. On the actual strap itself, you got a compartment with a bungee strap inside so you can put uh, your radio, you can run your phone, um, whatever else you'd want to in here. And then you've actually got a little slit right there in the pocket so you can run uh, your radio hand mic or uh, you can run your uh, headphones or whatever else through that pocket. You've got one additional pocket though. That's on the very back of the actual bag itself. That's where I keep my gloves with me. We've got a couple different sets of rubber gloves. I've got a couple different types of tapes. 
I've got my full trauma pack in here with my quick clot. I got an ace bandage, and I've also got the uh, little solar um, blanket just in case uh, you know something happens and I need my full med kit with me. I've got everything that I need there. The only thing that we have not covered yet is where the actual weapon compartment is. So, zip open the side frame here. Inside, I've got the holster that's holding my XDM 3.8. And then you've actually got ambidextrous pockets, so no matter where I'm at, I can always get inside. So if I want to carry the bag left-handed or right-handed, I'm good to go and I can open it up from either side. So as you can tell, you've also got the hydration pouches on the side, uh, so you can toss anything that you want to as far as drink-wise in there. You've always got easy access to it. Uh, for the most part, though, all I do is keep my keys inside there. That way I always know where they're at when I'm walking around it's easier to get to than inside my pockets. And that's the down and dirty 511 Covert Zap 6.